this is from Prakash's kitchen. Today we are going to make uh, taro root sabji. Uh, taro root, as you see, uh, looks like uh, potatoes. Uh, you boil the taro root first and then remove the skin and then slice the taro root and the sliced uh, taro root looks like that as you can see on the screen. Uh, the other ingredients are uh, dry coconut, dry curry leaves, okay, dry red chilies, black pepper, urad dal, and chana dal. prepare uh, the sabji. Uh, spray the, the frying pan with oil. That's about a teaspoon of oil. Add uh, chana dal, urad dal and uh, dry, fry it for, uh, for a minute or two until it becomes uh, brown. Dry red chilies. Uh, black pepper fry for a minute or two till the dals become uh, brown uh, keep frying yeah. add uh, dry coconut powder to the mixture now and fry some more till um, the coconut becomes a little brown and gives off a delicious aroma. We are showing an additional ingredient which is um, tamarind pulp. You soak uh, tamarind, the, re the regular tamarind, in hot water. Okay, once the coconut becomes toasted a little bit, as you can see, it's a little brown. Switch off the stove. Transfer the, the sauteed mixture into the mixi, mixer, the blender, uh, to grind with um, tamarind. Add water to the mixer and blend it. Keep adding water till the consistency is kind of a liquid. We added water uh, to grind the contents and uh, it looks like uh, the, the consistency that you are seeing now which, uh, which looks, uh, you know, resembles chocolate milk. Pour the con contents into the, into the, into the uh, frying pan. To add more water to make it more um, liquid like gravy so as you can see the consistency now this you add salt and asafoetida pinch of asafoetida hing okay okay add curry leaves add curry leaves today's chef is sudha prakash <laughs> as the the gravy is boiling as you can see you can add the vegetables now add the vegetables slowly once you add the vegetables cover the lid and cook for uh, four or five minutes and you keep stirring until um, it's done so that it doesn't get stuck to the bottom so you have to keep stirring <laughs> so now the as you can see the gravy is ready and it's ready to serve now, as you can.